This is the question asked in today's skill rack daily challenge. So in the first line of our input we are given a string as a input and the length of string is 3. So in the second line we are given 3 integers as input. So the number of integers in the second line will be determined upon the length of string. So if the length of string is equal to 5 then in the second line we will be given 5 integers as input. So now using these integers we have to encrypt our string. So the first integer is 2. So we have to shift the first character of the string by 2 positions. So the first character is B. So 2 characters from B will be D. So we are updating the first character to D and the remaining characters I and G remain as such. So this is how our string will be looking after the first encryption. And now the second integer is 1. Here we have to encrypt the first two characters. So in the first iteration we encrypted only the first character. In the second iteration we should encrypt the first two characters. So the character D will be updated to E and the character I will be updated to J. Because the second integer is 1. So we shift the characters by one position and the last character G alone remains as such. And now the third integer is 6. So in the third iteration we have to encrypt all the three characters. So here the character E will be updated to K because 6 characters from E will be K and then 6 characters from J will be P and then 6 characters from G will be M. So in the first iteration we encrypted only one character and in the second iteration we encrypted the first two characters and in the third iteration we encrypted the first three characters. So this is how we should be performing encryption on the given input string and after encrypting this is our final output string. So in our expected output also we can see that we get the same. So now let us see how to write a C program for this. So first I am creating a new character array named str of size 101 and in the next line I am accepting the input in a string format and storing it into the character array str. So now as per the value of the string length we have to accept as many integers so if the string length is equal to 3 we have to accept 3 integers suppose if it is 5 we have to accept 5 integers so i am creating a loop that iterates from 0 till string length of str and in every iteration i am creating a new integer named val and then i am accepting the integer val as input so totally we will be accepting the required number of integers and whenever an integer is accepted we have to encrypt our string so in the first iteration we have to encrypt the first character and in the second iteration we have to encrypt the first two characters so like that so to do that i am creating a j loop so this j loop iterates from 0 till j less than or equal to i so this loop will be exactly traversing through the first character in the first iteration of i loop and in the second iteration of the i loop this j loop will be traversing to the first two characters so this j loop will be working as per our needs so in every iteration of this j loop what we will be doing is we will be updating the character of str so we will be setting str of j is equal to find and then in the arguments i am passing the character str of j and x so this function find is a user defined function which i have defined above so now let us see how this function find works so this function is of return type char because it is going to return a character and the arguments I am accepting a character and the integer x. So what this function does is it will be right shifting the character for x times. So to do that I am creating a while loop that iterates for x times. So in the condition I am including x not equal to 0 and in every iteration we decrement the value of variable x by 1. So x minus minus and also I am including the condition ch plus plus. So what happens is suppose if the character is A in the first iteration then in the second iteration it would be updated to B. So like this when we move for x times then we would be updating our character as per our needs. But it is given in the question that we must follow a cyclic pattern. So when we keep on incrementing our character at one stage it may reach the character Z. Once we reach the character Z again we should start from A. So here what we are doing is in every iteration we are also checking whether the character is equal to z or not. So if the character is either equal to lowercase z or uppercase z then I am subtracting character by 26. So when we subtract it by 26 we will be present at the ASCII character 
present before A because in the next iteration we execute CH++. So whenever we reach Z in the next line, in the next iteration of the loop, again we will be starting from A. So this is how this function find works. So now in the main function in every iteration of the J loop the characters will be encrypted and finally after the execution of the I loop the encrypted string will be present in the character array str itself. So finally we print our output in string format. Now let us check our program with sample test cases. So this is our sample input 1 and our expected output for the particular sample input 1 is character kpm. So we also get the same characters. So now let us check our program with the sample input 2. So for sample input 2 also we get the correct characters as output. So this is the logic behind today's daily challenge. Thank you for watching.